Hi, in this part I'm going to uh, show you how Perl can compare uh, scalar values. Uh, I would like to see whether 1 and 1.0 and 1.00 are they equal, one of them is bigger, one of them is smaller. What about 1.00 in a string, so in quotation marks? Uh, what about comparing foo and bar, these two strings? So, Perl ha we saw that uh, in Perl the operators like plus and dot, uh, they convert strings to numbers and numbers to strings depending on their own context and they don't care what the actual value you put in the variables. Uh, this is similar with the operators. Perl actually has two sets of compression operators and I put here in a separate file uh, a table so you can see there is a set of numeric uh, compersions and a set of string compersions. Equal equal will check whether the two sides are equal as numbers and EQ will check whether they are equals as strings. And this would check whether they're not equal, this would check whether it's the left hand side is smaller as numbers and less than would compare them as strings. So let's see how that uh, works. Uh, let's have an example here. Let's compare 12 to 12.0 and uh, if that's true print out true else print out false so if i run this code i'll get true because 12 is equal to 12 and Perl disregards the dot zero because even though i'm writing here in floating point notation that's still only 12 as the real value uh, the same would be would happen if I put here two zeros, that doesn't really matter, I still get true. Uh, and if I put here this in quotes, that would be still true, because Perl converts the string into a number, and would get the same. Now if I compare them with using EQ, and I run the script, then I get false, because now Perl conver converts this number into a string. So you get one, two as on the left hand side, and one to dot zero zero on the right hand side two strings and they are not equal as strings what about comparing numbers uh, where which one is smaller and which one is bigger so let's compare two to three obviously two is smaller than three and I get the true as you can see here so two is smaller than three what if I compare them as strings that's the same it's two still true because two is uh, before 3 in the ASCII table. And uh, what happens if I'm comparing 12 to 3? Well, that's obvious. It's true because 12 is bigger than, than 3. But what if I am comparing with greater than the string compersion? Then I run it and I get false. So it might be surprising to some people, but if you think about it, the way this compares, GT compares, or all the uh, string compersions compare is that take the first character and which is one comparing this to the first character here which is three and by that character already we know that the left hand side happens before the right hand side in the ASCII table so by that point Perl decides that 12 as a string is smaller than 3 and because of that this uh, expression returns false so what what happens when I compare foo to bar? Whether I'm checking whether they are equal with two uh, equal signs, and I run the script, and surprisingly it gives me true. Now, it might be not surprising to those who know that what does that does it mean? So equal equal compares the two sides as numbers and converts them as numbers, and that's the reason we get these warnings because. The equal equal sign are ex is expecting two numbers. There are two strings on which are not exact numbers, so Perl gives me a warning, and converts both sides to zero because it will try to convert, try to look at the left hand side, look for numbers. There is no number I in, on, in either of the strings, so they equal, both equal to zero, and therefore uh, zero equals to zero as two numbers, and that's uh, true. So that's the reason Perl prints here true. Uh, obviously, if you know that uh, you need to compare two things that might be strings, then you would 
should pro probably use the EQ. Actually, in most of the cases in the world, you probably use the EQ when you're comparing uh, two strings. So if you are uh, two values. So now in this case, obviously, I get the false as I expected. Uh, might something might be more interesting that if even if I compare with uh, the str empty string, I get the same problem or same issue. I get this true and I get the two warnings. Now just to remind you, I get those warnings just because I asked for those warnings. So it's pretty important to use that pragma. Otherwise, it would be silently uh, just be true uh, and would be very surprising for most of the people. Obviously here too, if I'm using EQ, that would be uh, okay. Running the script will give me the false as I expected. Now let's see one example where this uh, problem might appear. So your name, let's say I'm printing out a question and I'm accepting some uh, string from the command line. Then uh, I'm chomping off the new line from the end and I'm checking whether the name name is equal to zero. And that's a common mistake some people make who don't know about the uh, difference between EQ uh, and uh, equal equal. So if I type here some string, then I get all these warnings, but I get true. Even though what I was checking, I was checking whether it's uh, an empty string. And I get true because this string, ddd, uh, is looking at the left hand side, is zero as a number, equal equal converts to number, the right hand side is equal to number, so it's uh, um, so the two, two sides are equal. The right thing would be uh, obviously to check whether it was EQ, whether the, the string is the empty string. So then I can run this code and uh, say ddd and that's false and on the other hand if I run this script and I press enter without typing in anything then it's true because now the result is an empty string. So that's about comparing values. Thank you for watching and see you next time.